Hey, this is Matt from Investing One. Today is Tuesday, September 26, 2023. Yesterday, the markets rallied from the open after opening week. We rallied and closed up at the highs of the session, and we did this on the heels of a 50-day closing low. So we're going to take a look at this bounce-like pattern off of the recent low. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. I've got all four instruments selected here. Our setup is based upon entering long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, for this study, I'm going to hop down to the price patterns library, and I'm going to grab uh, one of these new lows patterns here that says day after up day following 50-day low close. So that means yesterday was a green candlestick that came after a 50-day low close. The next thing I want to do is go to the indicators library, put us below a 10, but above a 200-day simple moving average, and then I'm going to click the results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, when the prior session was a green candlestick that was coming after a 50-day low close, below a 10, but above a 200-day simple moving average. Historically, just 21 samples here, pretty rare pattern. Uh, NASDAQ has 25 samples, the Dow, 29, Russell, 25. Win rates on these Pretty mixed. S&P, 43% of these closing above the opening print for the NASDAQ. It's 36 for the Dow, 52 for the Russell, 48. When uh, average moves on this, the average win is a little bit larger here in the S&P. Uh, that is also the case here in the NASDAQ, in the Dow, and in the Russell. So all four of these have larger average wins compared to their average losses. And you'll probably notice I did not put an opening filter on this one like I normally do. That's because the sample sizes here are pretty light on this. And if you go with the gap downs, the sample sizes get cut about in half. Win rates get a little bit weaker when you do that as well. We are currently trading lower, uh, but I went ahead and left everything in here to keep as many samples as possible. And then you can go in and kind of look at this on your own if you choose to. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We will see you next time.